Hey everybody, it's Chef Holly and we are doing a peppercorn crusted filet steak and yes I had all kinds of sides on the side of it and I did do an onion mushroom sauce, a quick onion mushroom sauce. Alright, so this is my little dutchie here. I didn't use my cast iron pot, I used my dutchie, which is kind of similar. I just put a little oil in the bottom, you can use olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever you got. Here's my little piece of filet that I'm putting a little kosher salt on, well a good amount of kosher salt actually, and just pressing that in. And I'm going to put some more on the back of that steak. I remember because this steak it can't be seasoned on the inside. You want to get enough flavor on the outside so you can get, every time you cut through, you get some flavor on that steak. So I have some uh, fresh cracked black pepper here that I'm just pushing in to um, my steak. Uh, I probably should have put some oil in hindsight on the steak before I started seasoning it to make it stick, but it's all good. This is actually the same peppercorn crusted steak recipe that I used uh, for T.S. Madison's birthday steak. Uh, a couple weeks ago but or whatever anyway so we're gonna go ahead in a hot dutchie and press that steak in i like my steak kind of medium rare not completely uh well done at all i don't want to get mid well on your well i like my medium rare medium rare to medium all right so you see the kind of temperature that i have the steak on right there and when that is done we are going to take it off and we are going to let it rest so i just laid it in my little bowl right there and as you can see on the side i have my onions and i'm going to keep all that goodness in the bottom because that's peppercorn to just throw in the onion that i have here i just had some onion in the refrigerator you can put as much onion as you want a uh, little a lot it just depends on how you feel because these onions are really going to cook down um, and, and form a nice little oniony sauce i put a little kosher salt in the onions Use whatever kind of salt you want, seasoned salt, whatever you like. I added my mushrooms that I had left over in the fridge. Like the same with the onions. Put as much mushrooms as you want. There's already salt in there. You can add a little more salt if you'd like to. And we're just going to just cook that down until it just gets soft. And all those vegetables start giving up all of their juices. And we'll add some heavy cream in a little while. I did not have a lot of heavy cream. So I just used what I had. I would normally add more heavy cream to get a thicker reduction. But it's okay. So I went ahead, just added that, um, and then it comes together, and it's a nice, thick, creamy sauce, and I'm just going to ladle that over uh, the steak over here. Uh, like I said, I normally like to use a little bit more heavy cream, uh, but this steak was absolutely delicious, and I really do think you guys will enjoy this recipe. It's one of those quick things. It's really hard for you to mess up a filet because the filet is just so doggone, super, 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 super tender. So there we go with our steak. I am going to put some spinach on the side of this. I'm going to have some twist fix shrimp on the side of that. I put a little bit of finishing salt on the top. And um, this was a meal and it was absolutely delicious. So we had our peppercorn crusted filet with onion and mushroom cream sauce on the top. And at the end of the video, I believe I am going to show you a picture of everything that I had on the side of this steak. It was absolutely delicious delicious filet y'all makes great steak and eggs all of that so there we go right here here is it with my twix fix shrimp and i had the extra onions and mushrooms there and then i also have some spinach on the side and remember i did use twix fix seasoning on my shrimp y'all go on to oliver twix website and get yours today Bye bye